Hello, this is your friendly neighborhood dragon slayer presenting to you another commentary. And uh, it's going to be a good one today, boys and girls. We have a Progetto 65, which um, did this game the other night in a. Uh, eh, just working on the list challenge missions. And, you know, it says do tier 10s, do 850 experience. I was on that mission, and I'm like, oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, um. While working on it, I ended up completing the experience part before I completed the 850 experience part. Um, so it was kind of frustrating. I had a couple of games where I was one experience from 850. Um, had two games uh, where I was 10 experience away from 850. So I, I had like four good shots at it and that really hosed me over. I had a good stretch of like eight games where I did it four times. So, and this was one of those. So this game, we're going to be seeing a little bit of uh, flexibility, a little bit of a screw-up here at the start. Um, I would very much not recommend in a medium tank like this to set up on that corner. If they had an EBR that was worth its weight in salt, he'd be running down the F and G lines along the ridge and could spot me. So I very much recommend that you not do this. But there's a couple of key plays in here that I think really deserve highlighting. And um, it was very interesting how one small change dramatically impacted the rest of the play. So, the 252U defender. Keep an eye on him. That dude... That dude did not exactly do what I would have done. I would have actually helped our 60 TP out. Because all of their heavies are gonna go to the zero. All of them. Which you're gonna see. Watch this. Oh, this is... Oh was satisfying. Like, okay, let me load up another shell. Oh, never mind. This And this is where you gotta be careful with your shell. Just... I've been learning this as I've been playing. It's a fun tank, but it's 50 seconds if you dump the clip. And a bad chat can load faster. I, you could dump a, a clip on the TVP. He could dump his clip, reload, and dump it again before you get yours fully loaded. So, um, one shot and then, you know, wait that six or seven second reload before you fire again. And I, and I found that out, because I played this, EBR, and a couple other tanks for tier 10s. Uh, but the JPZ-100 and the grill, it's kind of easy to get 850 experience in a JP if you fire three or four shells. Just, you know, you've got to get people to walk out in front of you and are in Jesus' door. So as, as we're going to enjoy this in a bit, you're going you're gonna to see another scrub here. Um, an interesting side note, there's actually a... Uh, sign up here and hope you i don't know if you know that and that tree that tree cannot be pushed down that lorraine's gonna cut that shot's gonna come back to bite me later with the lorraine you cannot push that tree down at all i've tried and good thing i tried it in training room because uh <laughs> yeah it's it's basically a building which is kind of fun with it because you can actually um use it to bait a shot and hit like or or do something stupid there's a sign here working but you know we're always fighting and we're never... Ugh, there's my screw up. So I got shot in the side and shot in the side again. So I lost a bunch of HP for kind of a stupid reason. And I am... Um, I, I almost lost the will to live when I got hit. That GW, you're going to see here, like, I'm losing just the will to fight. Because my, uh, my zero line's crumbling. And, oh, I think they also have, like, a T30 or something over there. I'm just losing the will to live and the will to fight. And, th and that's important when you're playing I can't stress that enough when you guys are playing, having fun, you're fighting it out, you're just, you know, doing your thing. You just got to keep it in the game. Because the second you, surren you surrender or you're like, I can't do this anymore, um, you're probably right. Um, I gave up here. We're like three to five. And I'm like, ugh, our zero line crumbled. We haven't won the one line yet. Um, we're still fighting it out. And then I realized, while I was watching the replay, like getting ready for this, that Pershing has a derp gun. That Pershing has a... Seriously? Of all the... Th just put the 76 on the Pershing and just call it a day. So this is interesting. The, the, the brass. The brass there. Like, I've everyone bought them when they went on sale. It's, it's great for me. It lowered the uh, third mark requirements, but I still can't seem to get it. Um, but, yeah, that, that 44, that poor guy, is like, completely out of position. Um, if he was pulled back further, I could help him, but he pushed forward, trying to get, like, dart across, but, I don't know, he just didn't do it very well. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna see a couple of, uh, interesting, keep an eye on that Lorraine, just, just watch, watch what he does. 
This guy is like 60 chests in the field. Like, look at this. Oh. And, and I would have died. But I do. But, you know, it's a Barask. you got to aim in for more than just the three seconds. If you fire the shot right after the, the first shot, it's, it's like a five second aim time to get it perfectly aimed. And if you rush it, you're gonna fluff it at that distance. Or at least you're gonna have a 50-50 shot. He, um, he failed. Also, just so you guys know, the chances of a brass shell rolling high, from what I've experienced, is like less than 50%. Most of my, sh most of the time in my clip, I'll do like 660 damage. Rarely do I ever do 720. So keep that in mind when you're in a brass. I love it, great tank. Do not ever expect it to roll average. I've died a couple of times rolling around like my brass. Like, okay, the damage will average out. 330, okay, okay. I got. I, I just got to roll 300. Or even 360. 200 and something. It's like, yeah. So, this is this is where you guys got to be careful. That PZ, right decision. You cannot fault him. He's, he's pulling back. He's trying to flank. Because he knows that you cannot push 300 meters of open ground if we still own the hill. Let's learn that, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot push an open area like this. And there's three yards. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts to watch some poor guy get wrecked by artillery. But, you know, you just don't push open areas. Especially in a, in a slow, heavy tank. And we still have the hill. I mean, I'm surprised how many players still make this mistake. And they're tier 9s and 10s. And it's like, hey, I'm going to push, you know... 300 meters of open ground in front of several tank destroyers and artillery. It's like, and then they complain, well, I died, you didn't push with me. It's like, well, what do you want me to do? You basically became an XP pinata. So here's an interesting tidbit. Notice that Lorraine, that Lorraine, that 252 in the Skoda pushed past, left in that valley area. See where he gets spotted in a second. You're going to find this very fascinating. He's not. Guess where he's going to be at? Because, surprise, he was still on the three line. And they left him. Now he flanked behind him. So, I actually, in chat, I talked, I was talking, I was like, I thought I hit, crit hit that guy twice. And I'm panicking, like, oh, come on, come on, come on. That, when that Lorraine slowed down and gave me broadside, I knew, I knew we had it. That Lorraine surviving, he could have, uh, he really could have messed me up because I think his reload time is two and a half or three seconds. So if he would have got the drop on me, you know, it would have been a little sketchy. I could have won it, but I don't want to risk getting hit by artillery. So I, I tell the object to hop on cap, and then I'm going to go find the artillery because I'd rather uh, I'd rather start us capping and force these guys to start manu maneuvering to come engage us. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to look for artillery and... Uh, <laughs> So I'm, I'm reading the uh, reading what the object said. He actually messaged me after the game. We had a good chat. He's uh, he's a really cool guy. Uh, we were just chatting about critical hits and uh, the, the pain. So the video's kind of wrapping up and coming to a conclusion. And it was just it's a really fun game and a really great example of how you can maneuver around the map and and try and make sure you give yourself flexibility. That's the key. Don't commit yourself too deeply to an area that you won't be able to help out somewhere else. Especially in a medium. Alright. Well. I don't know if he wasn't loaded, but uh, whatevs. And then... Oh! <laughs> that guy! <laughs> almost, buddy. Almost. Well, thank you guys, and uh, have a wonderful day.